Welcome to Sarah's Little Corner of the Crochet World. I'm Sarah. This is my corner. Welcome and thank you for coming back. I'd like to thank you, everybody, new subscribers and old, for joining me and taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. I truly appreciate it. So on this channel, we love to discuss crochet, crochet techniques, yarn, because, well, we couldn't do anything without it, and anything to deal with the fiber arts. And today we are going to do another tag. I got tagged in about four, so I'm trying to get them done one by one. And if I have to take my breaks to do it, so be it. All right, so 10 yarny question tag from today. I am looking at notes. I apologize, but it's the only way I can remember every question and what I had actually answered. And this way I don't ramble off. All right. So the first thing was I was tagged by Butterfly Dreams Crochet with Jeannie. And I believe this one was started by Crystal from Bag o Day Crochet. Anyways, so the first one is, what is my favorite color of yarn? Um, that is such an open question. Um, I love blues, greens, teals, dark purples, and of course those all work really well together. Um, yeah, it, it's a mix within that area, definitely for sure. Number two, what is your favorite weight of yarn? I am definitely a medium four weight kind of girl. I love that. It's very versatile, easy to work with. Um, yeah, I like medium four. Oh yeah. All right. So number three, what is your favorite style of yarn? Um, style. It's more of like the the uh, Red Heart Super Saver and how that yarn is like the roll with it Bernat cotton um yes in that area okay question number four what is your favorite fiber of yarn um i would have to say acrylic and then cotton only because i haven't worked with cotton as much as i have with acrylics and I, uh, I've made multiples with acrylic. Love acrylic. And number five, what is your favorite brand that you can easily get within your country? Um, I can easily get Bernat, Red Heart, Lion Brand. Uh, those three for sure, definitely. Number six, what is your favorite brand that is not easy to get within your country? Um, I love this yarn, Yarn B, um, and Whisper SDI, her beautiful creations of yarn, Dyings, oh my gosh, I saw what Lisa got, oh lordy, when, when, when I have money, down the line it goes, but yes, hers are just beautiful. Okay, and if you don't know who Whisper is, I will put a link down in below for her because, yeah, you need to check out some of her stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. Number seven, what is your favorite yarn store online and favorite brick and mortar store? Okay, online, I would have to say Hirschner's. Yeah, I'm going to say Hirschner's because I've only done two online orders and the second was all mystery bags. So I didn't really get a, an understanding of what else they sell. Um, so I definitely want to go try that store again. But Hirschner's, like, they have beautiful cottons, which is all of that beautiful bags up there. Uh, that's all cotton just from Hirschner's. Um, these puff pastries right here, Hirschner's, I love their stuff. It's very easy to use. It's not as itchy as you think for this one has a bit of wool in it and it's actually not that bad. It's still quite soft. The cotton is absolutely amazing for uh, stitch marker holders, which is just one of them right here. And I've done cloths, uh, dishcloths with them. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And my favorite brick and mortar store um, is between Michael's and Walmart because, well, they're really, really close to each other and I bus everywhere. So it's a little bit easier to get from 
if I'm know I'm going yarn shopping, I'll check out Walmart first, then I'll hit up Michaels because I usually get more at Michaels in the long run. Number eight, do you keep scrap yarn? If so, what you do with it? If it's more than an inch, no. Let's just say if, if, if I can get at least a, this much wrapped up of it, I will keep it. If it's less than that, and I don't feel that I have a use for it most of the time. If it's just the ends, I'll chop them off and throw them out because I don't need them. I don't use them. Um, or I haven't found a use for them. So that would be, I, do, I really don't keep the scraps. I already have enough yarn as is. And if I had kept more, my husband might give me a little bit of trouble. You know, all that fun stuff. All right. Number nine. What is your favorite thing to crochet? Um, I definitely have to say shawls and the chevron blank is quite fun actually. I've done a ton of, um, I'm on my third chevron blanket. I have done four or five at least granny square blankets. It's just one single square that gets bigger and bigger and bigger, which is totally awesome. I love that. And scrunchies. Scrunchies are totally fun to make. So I'll make the little ones, make ones with beads, ones without beads, bigger ones. Yeah, I've got about three different types of scrunchies and they're all just absolutely fun. They're easy to do while you're watching TV. Number 10. If you could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? Hmm. This one, um... I'd have to say blankets because at least blankets keep you warm. They're always useful whether or not you're sitting on top of them or they're, you're underneath them keeping warm. And I would probably do the Bernat blanket yarn because it's really soft and comfortable. Yeah, I think that's about it. Anyways, the, that is all of the yarny questions. So I'm going to tag a couple of people for them to follow in suit and see what their responses are. So I'm going to tag Creations by Christine and Chatelaine Makes and Whisper SDI. So I will put all of their links below. Please do ensure to check them out. They are awesome ladies. They do absolutely wonderful work. Chatelaine Makes, she does... Uh, yarn dyeing for you to see. Totally cool. Uh, Creations by Christi Christine. Lordy. She just started out not too long ago, but she definitely does crochet. She's done a couple of uh, coin searches and stuff like that. Absolutely fun. And like I said, Whisper does some absolutely amazing yarn dyes. Just she's got fairy stuff. It's absolutely amazing. Please do check them all out. And uh, yeah, don't forget to tell them I sent you on over. <laughs> All right, so you guys have a great day. I gotta get back to work. Um, have a great day, morning, afternoon, night, whatever time you are watching this. Thank you for taking the time out of your day and spending it with me and watching my videos. I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, have a great time, share with the video if you can. And yeah, all right. You guys have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.